Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so it really is important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. Now if you do have any questions and you would like to contact me you can find pretty much all the information that you might require from me so contact list of readings it's all right below into the YouTube description box so please do check it out and if you do want to contact me please do not hesitate it will be my great pleasure to assist you also if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it is always and greatly appreciated and I do thank you so very much before we do begin, I would like to say thank you to all my beautiful subscribers. I don't say it, you know, often enough, so I am going to try and say it as much as I can to thank every single one of you. I do appreciate all of you for commenting, being part of this channel. Very appreciated. Also, I would like to thank all these subscribers who have um, donated so generously to the channel. I do thank you so very much. It's also very greatly appreciated. So let's begin this reading. These are messages by spirit. I have four of them. You take what's good and you leave the rest aside. So let's start it off. So we have here the jeweled octopus. We're going to follow it up with a alchemical seas. I have a mermaid picking lotus blossoms and we're going to conclude with the autumn mermaid. So let's start it off with jeweled octopus. Now, she's jeweled. So this is all about sometimes, you know, how uh, whatever somebody might seem, they might not quite be what they are. This is about being careful. It's a warning. Not everyone is as they seem. Not all that glitters is gold is pretty much what I'm trying to say here. So, nor is every bright bauble the priceless treasure as it first appears. So, you may, Spirit is telling me that you may have recently encountered somebody who might be very, very charming. Who's maybe flashy facade draws people in. But you need to remember that that's all it is, a facade. Now, you have to look beneath the surface to see the true value of a person. And like the jeweled octopus right over here, your new acquaintance just might be hiding behind that dazzling disguise. So be very, very careful if anybody is showing you a um, different portrait of who they are, perhaps. Moving on over to the alchemical seas right here. This is about... Um, maybe you need to anticipate a new authority in your life and it could this new authority can come in different um, aspects of your life so um, the seas they're quite turbulent right now I feel there's going to be change soon there's going to be a new power that's going to arise within your life somewhere um, a new figure of authority is going to assert itself in your life and you need to prepare for it mentally, emotionally, spiritually, maybe even materially. Now, this leader, as I was saying into the beginning, could be pretty much anybody here in any different sphere of your life. It could be in your professional, your spiritual, your um, if you're in school uh, or if you're studying any academic or any social realm. There may be a leadership challenges maybe at your work. A new spiritual leader, maybe in your current place of worship, if you do that. Um, it could even be a new acquaintance who's going to become prominent in your personal life. So while this change is going to be that change of authority, it can be stressful. And it can even cause a little bit of conflict for a certain amount of time. You need to take heart. Once those seas are going to have calmed down, life is going to return to a state of peace, to a certain state of um stability. So you need to take time to get to know this new individual and to learn how um, this person conducts themselves. Could this person become a role model or a mentor, to, a mentor maybe to you? Is this person a cautionary example or is this person telling you that it's time for you to move on? Maybe to calmer waters. That is a very interesting twist within this message. 
Moving on to your following um, message over here, I have the mermaid, which is picking these beautiful lotus blossoms. This is about you are seeking some spiritual perfection. You are surrounded right now by many different options. May they be mental, material, emotional, maybe even spiritual. Now is the time to focus your energies and to select a path to search for that spiritual perfection. You need to take your time. You need to find the direction that is appropriate for you right now. You need to experiment with a new method maybe of uh, commuting with nature or your higher power. It could be through yoga or meditation or religious study. Um, maybe you find a group of people who are seeking just as you are and share those and your ambitions. This is a time for you to move on forward, but with an open mind and with a very curious heart, I would have to say. Do not prejudge the path, you know, that others are on though. Attend, you know, um, this is about being open, being open to uh, different people's faith at the same time. This is about uh, sometimes we're unfamiliar to different people, different ways of doing things, but it's be about being open to them. It's about not judging. It's about you walking into new territories. And uh, you know what? You just never know where this new path just may lead you. So this is really about you seeking that spiritual perfection, that spiritual awakening, looking for answers. You're looking for something. Thing. This is about searching, searching yourself, searching around you, but it's also also about uh, gathering and finding people that are like you who are searching for the same thing. So let's move on over now to your um, final message over here. I do have the um, autumn mermaid. Now the autumn mermaid wants to talk to you about natural change. Natural change is coming within your life. So there are a lot of changes here between, you know, being careful over here for this person who might not quite seem who they are, might have a certain disguise, to a change in authority, to looking, finding your spiritual self. Um, and a natural change, as I was saying, is coming to you. So you know what? We're all all exposed to the, you know, to the, um, to those cycles, that pattern that we have in life of nature, and at times we rejoice, at times we buckle down to prepare for harsher weather to come. It can be really easy for us to kind of just wallow into self-pity, uh, you know, pitting for the warmth and the light of summer, but there's colder, there's darker days, and they're going to come, and it's really, really important not to only brace yourself for them, but also to embrace them. You need to be prepared for a natural change that might seem negative onto the surface. And if anticipated appropriately, this change is going to be a pleasure when it is embraced. Each season of our life is going to bring joy and sorrow, new activities and duties. This is about preparation. This is your key to success. Look ahead to what nature is bringing to you and busy yourself with those plans for the success. You have the key that is within you. And that does conclude this reading. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I do hope that Spirit has brought you some very interesting messages that you will be able to use. If you have any questions you would like to contact me, please do so. All of my information is right below into the YouTube description box. If you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe and have yourself a beautiful day. Thank you for being there and I will be seeing you tomorrow with new messages.